how to overcome challenges, problems, annoyances quickly. That's what we're going to talk about today. But first, you already know what time it is. Validation time, baby. If you're on YouTube, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so that you can get the newest videos instantly downloaded into your brain. All other platforms, please like, comment, subscribe, send over those validational vibes my way. Good to be back. I was basically sidelined for the past week and a half from doing content, all sorts of stuff, had some medical things going on. But that's not the point of the video. The point of the video is that in the span of a week and a half where I couldn't really do the type of work that I wanted to do, I just took the L and just rested up. I took the L, rested up, had restrictions where I couldn't be on camera, couldn't be doing certain things, and I was just like, done. I just took my time, did my due diligence, did my time, and it was over. Now I'm back. And it's a system that I've been developing to deal with problems in general lately. I've just come to the point where I'm starting to instantly absorb whatever comes at me and then just deciding what to do next. Like the time of ruminating and dwelling on my problems is just shrinking and shrinking significantly to the point where it's not that I don't experience stress or have problems or anything, but I'm just realizing increasingly how futile it is to worry about things that are in your way, obstacles, challenges, tripping you up from the micro to the macro. So for a micro example, you're stuck in traffic. It's gonna make you late to work. It's gonna make you late to that meeting. You're gonna be late. It's, it is written, it is etched in stone that due to that traffic jam, you are gonna be late. So why spend that extra 15, 20 minutes dwelling on the fact that you're gonna be late, punishing yourself twice, you're already gonna get punished because you're gonna be late, but then you're gonna punish yourself beforehand before you even get there, so you're doubly feeling bad. Little examples like that, little petty annoyances, just let them go. Guy, maybe accidentally cut a guy off on the road today, he was a little upset with me, just let it go. Didn't let it boil and fester at all, like no more boiling and festering. From the micro to the macro being sidelined for with health issues, I'm just like, what am I gonna do? I just look at the situation at hand and realize that the only thing you can do is react to those problems. Like, you know, that's kind of my whole thing that I do with this channel is I kind of just take all the self-help cliches and really drill down into them and get you to think about them and get you to focus on them with whatever perceptive powers I have, right? So the cliche, it's not what happens to you, but how you react. And you really just have to come to the point where you don't have any choice but to deal with the situation you deal with. You know, there's a thing where, what do we like to do often, most? We like to kind of ruminate in our head over and over and over again about everything that could have gone differently leading up to that point, whether it was your own decision-making, other people's decision-making, the circumstances around you, you go back and you play this mental movie in your head, trying to move the little needles and levers to see how these potential fake alternate universe futures would have happened, but they're not gonna happen. You are where you are right now. If you are broke, you are broke. You have no money. Best be thinking about how to get some money as opposed to dwelling on you being broke. Your relationships aren't working the way you want. Best get to working on either fixing them or leaving the relationship. Your circumstances aren't what you want. You're not living in the place you want to live. You don't drive the car you want to drive. You don't fulfill your material desires. Quit acting like your material desires are going to go away and that you're going to be a monk living in some cave. No, maybe just admit to yourself that you want certain things and create a plan to get out of it. Too many, so much of life is wasted on thinking about the problem, mulling over the problem, going back in the past, trying to rewrite was not going to be rewritten instead of just moving forward. You know, as far as personal experience, some of the best and worst things in my life have happened this year. Some of the highest of highs and the lowest of lows 
have happened this year. And I don't make it a point to be one of the social media self-improvement gurus who acts like I don't have problems. I acknowledge that I have many problems, but you don't see me displaying all my problems all over social media, creating a sob story for myself. Why? Just because it just doesn't do anything. The only thing that it does is make you get a little bit of that weird, perverse satisfaction that comes with being a martyr. That's all you get. So the payoff you get from that is, you know, there's a weird pleasure in feeling kind of sorry for yourself. That's all you get. But otherwise, you are where you are. Like, think about it. Like, really think about your life and the problems and challenges you have. Those problems and challenges will persist. They are not going away. And you could either focus on how you wish those problems would go away. Or you could do something about it. And unlike other people who talk about self-improvement, I'm not going to pretend like fixing some of your situations is going to be easy. In fact, there are some situations that are quite dire. I don't know you personally. I don't know what's going on in your life. But without knowing you, I can say with near certainty that your circumstances aren't just going to change on their own. You know, maybe you'll win the lottery, like rest your head on that if you want to. But for 99% of people, whatever circumstances you have, fair or unfair, they're going to come your way. And life is going to keep hitting you from every angle. And I think what has helped me is I've just let go of wanting my life to go smoothly. I've let go of trying to predict the future. I have let go of the day where I could just sit back and rest and not have any of the bullshit and the problems and the annoyances and the relationship problems and the money problems and societal problems and all of these inputs. Like, it's just, dude, the shitstorm is going to keep coming, right? It's just, it's going to keep coming forever in perpetuity. So you might as well get an umbrella that you build with your own mindset for that storm. And the quicker you learn to kind of absorb like really absorb it. Like that's what helps. Like don't repress, don't repress those negative feelings you're feeling in a certain situation. If you're feeling kind of foul, if you're feeling off balance, like be not off balance. See, that's the problem. People are both halfway in in both angles. They're halfway in on trying to do something about it. And then they're halfway in even feeling the feelings. Like they're trying to push the feelings down. Like, no, feel the feelings. Feel the full weight of your circumstances. Acknowledge it, accept it then you can release it and think about doing something. But most, pe most people half ass in both directions. They constantly mull over things and never take action. And then they never fully process the challenges and feelings that they're going through. And they try to push them down, but they keep bubbling up. So merge the two and accept what's going on. And then take that energy that you were wasting, like you're still going to use the energy anyways. People act like they're not motivated, but their brain is frantically processing information in a negative way constantly. Trust me, you are very motivated, just in the wrong direction. Deal with your problems quicker by processing the emotions that you're feeling, releasing that by accepting you are where you are at the moment, and then create your plan to do something about it. Okay, U2.0 is the name of the book. Working on the third book coming out soon. There will be new announcements leaking out. But for now, U2.0 is the one you want to go get. Please send me your love because I need it. All platforms, like, comment, subscribe. Namaste.